this is Abdul Karim from Khalij Times. Now we're here in this factory looking at the production of the 3D printing of face shields. Now this company here says the face shield is a quarantine for your entire face as well. And these can be cleaned. And uh, this is the 3D printing that we can see over here. And the nozzle that is printing the plastic can be at a heat of over 200 degrees Celsius. This factory in Dubai used to specialize in making crystal trophies and corporate merchandise. With the rise of the pandemic and changing business environment, they have now shifted their entire operation towards making the face shields to be delivered to the healthcare sector. So what we have developed is uh, two different products. One is a, a headband for the personal use. This is basically, you wear this like a pair of glasses. You have these dots on it and then you basically put the face shield onto the, um, onto the headband. Face shields are an extra layer of protection which are often used by dentists, veterinarians and other medical professionals. Thanks to the technology of 3D printing, they now produce 1,500 shields a day. And the manager tells us that they can also be used by the general public due to their extra protective capability. People, when they're wearing their, their face mask, they're only covering their mouth and nose, but leaving their eyes exposed. And another thing is we know that the, the, the transmission of the coronavirus happens when people are doing things and then they're touching unintentionally their face and exposing then their face to whatever you have touched with your hands. And it's actually amazing when you're wearing the, the face shield, how often you actually bang onto your face shield because there's so much unintentional touching of your face. Now, a lot of you might be concerned about how many face masks are we going to get through because this pandemic has been ongoing for quite a number of days, over 100 days now. But what the company tells us that these are going to be the future. These are made from antimicrobial uh, material that can defeat any particular virus. And this has been tested on uh, cases such as SARS and MERS as well. In, in this filament that we're using for the 3D printer, we have uh, nanoparticles of copper inside. And copper has medicinal uh, attributes. Uh, and basically, we are looking now to print with, the, with this material uh, these kind of face masks. So these face masks, we have here the, the PLA version. And here, this is a, a flexi version of the material will allow the, the person to wear this. There's also then a filter that can be put in here that covers the mouth and nose properly. Well, as you can see, the future is here. In my right hand, I've got the Museum of the Future and the upcoming Creek Tower, all 3D printed, as well as this face shield that I'm wearing. It just goes to show that this pandemic, even though it comes with its challenges, it has really tested our minds and we are really fast forwarding towards the future and 3D printing is the savior to improve the supply in a cost-effective manner and in a very quick manner as well. This was Abdul Karim from Khalij Times with cameraman Neeraj Murali.